Here's how to transfer your eSIM from one phone to another phone. Now, if you got a new phone, but your eSIM or electronic SIM card is associated with your old phone, you can always transfer that information over. I'll show you how to do it. We'll hop into our settings here, and then we'll tap on cellular midway down here. Now here you can see on here, I have an eSIM on there, but at the bottom it says add eSIM. So I can tap on that and it'll walk me through steps to transfer it from another phone to this phone. Now it says, if you wanna transfer a phone number from a nearby phone, you can either basically have that phone nearby or you can scan a QR code if your service provider gave you a QR code. So I'm gonna hit transfer from a nearby phone. Basically all you have to do now is it walks you through you have to make sure that other phone is password protected but unlocked. It has to be nearby with the Bluetooth turned on and it has to be running iOS 16 or later. So make sure all of those apply to that old phone and basically just have this screen and have that old phone nearby and unlocked and it will detect everything. And then you can just walk through the steps. It'll just basically pop up with a little thing saying, do you wanna transfer that eSIM over from your old phone to your new iPhone? You can go through those steps and it will transfer everything over. Now, if this doesn't work, you can always hit back. You can use QR code. Basically, if this if your carrier sends you this and you know they don't want you to transfer your eSIM from your old phone to your new one, they just want you to set up a new eSIM. You can either scan a QR code or at the very bottom, you can enter those details manually. And by going through these steps, this is another way that you can basically transfer that service to your new iPhone so that it works. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.